Hey y'all and welcome to today's video. In today's video we are just going to get right into it. Today we are going to be doing some thrift flips and then we are going to decorate these items in my home. I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope that you enjoy the format that I have for you today. Let me know down in the comments if this is something that you enjoy and you enjoy the layout of how I did it. The first thing we're going to start with is this cute little flower cart that I got at Goodwill and I'm going to use some of this. It's called the camouflage rust-oleum paint. I found it at Home Depot and I absolutely fell in love with with the sage color that they had none of the other green spray paints compared to this one so i decided to give this one a try i've never used this one before i've used rust-oleum but not this camouflage type brand And when I thrifted this, I did mention that I wanted to put it here by my sink so that it could hold maybe a sponge and my dish soap. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to get it into position here. And I have the cutest little Pioneer Woman dish soap container that a friend gifted me. And I had Blue Dawn dish liquid in it. And y'all, that was just messing up my decor. So Jessica over at Hanukkah Rose is her channel name. I love her channel, y'all. She messaged me on Instagram and said that she was struggling with the same issue and she was on the hunt for some clear dish soap. She found some at Target, so off to Target I went, and it looks much, much better than the Blue Dawn dish soap. You may also recognize this cute little silver pitcher. I just recently thrifted that as well, so I'm just going to put some little dried florals in it, and that is all I'm going to put on this flower cart, and I think it turns out adorable, y'all. Okay, now all I'm going to do to this thrifted candle holder birdcage is spray paint it just like I did the little flower cart. However, I will not be distressing this piece, just spray painting it to fit into my decor. I'm using this green on a lot of my accessories for the kitchen because I plan to paint my kitchen cabinets on the bottom this same sage green. And so I'm trying to make some of the accessories that will be up on the countertop the same color. These dried florals are a mixture of two different types of dried florals that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I just took and kind of cut them down and put a little twist tie around them to kind of keep them bunched together. So because I had these laying around with nowhere to go right now, I thought that they would be adorable in this birdcage. They are just some measuring cups that I got at Dollar General probably a year ago. And inside of each one, except for the top one, I put some paper towels so that they would stack and you could see them all. And I absolutely love how this turned out, you guys. I think that it is so, so cute. Alrighty, now we're going to work on this. I guess it's a baking pan. I don't know. I love this enamelware looking stuff. It has some very distressed or old looking spots. I did not get this for baking. I got it for decor. And I do love the green color that it has on it, but it's too light for me. It's almost the color of some of my walls in my kitchen now. And I'm wanting to change all of that to the sage green to match my bottom cabinets here before long. But what I'm going to do to this pan, because I want to keep that distressed look along the edge, 
edge and it's metal and I want to spray paint it, I'm just going to add some Vaseline to these areas so that once the paint is dry on the rest of the pan, these spots will just wipe off very easy and it will have the same distressed looking wore out spots on it that I love and I won't have to do any sanding or anything like that. So that is an amazing little tip for you. I don't do this tip very often. My dad used to do this a lot on his pieces because he redid houses and all kind of things like that so he had all kind of little tips and tricks up his sleeve and this was one of them and I absolutely love how this technique works all I'm going to do also is spray paint this to match the green color that I'm loving and this piece turns out so so cute you guys wait until you see what I end up doing with this I was wanting something to put beside my sink to hold my hand towels and so I just randomly kept playing around with this and this is just what I do sometimes. I'll sit and ponder on things and think about it and what can I do with it and this is what I come up with. Wait till you see it. It turns out so so cute and I'm showing you right here. I've already tested a little piece but I want to show you just how easy this Vaseline wipes right off and then there you have it. The distressed piece that you wanted to show through is there. Okay, I think that I forgot to mention that I did get this pan at Goodwill and I got it recently. So you guys haven't even seen this in a haul video yet, but I did get it at a Goodwill recently. And I'm going to be able to use this picture that I thrifted. You guys have seen this. I've been trying to place this all over my house, but I end up using it in this project and I love how it turns out. Here's the little basket that I'm going to use. I got this at an estate sale recently. Also, you guys haven't even seen that, but I paid a dollar for it. And what I'm going to use this for is I want to hot glue it and I put just a touch of E6000 on the back of it because I'm going to use this to kind of put my hand towels in and out of when I'm not using them. Okay, and because I really wanted to use this picture in this little project, I was trying to figure out how am I going to get this in this pan and get it to stay. I thought maybe I'll have to use a command hook or something like that, but y'all, just a little pressure. I was able to push this thing down in there and it does not budge. I didn't have to use any tools or any glue or anything to get this to stay. It's like it was meant for this piece and it turns out so, so cute. Okay, and the whole reason I designed this little piece is to hold whatever dish towel I am using at the time. I don't want it just laying all over my sink, so that's why I come up with this idea so that whatever dish towel I'm using, because sometimes I will use a dish towel all throughout the day, but I don't want it just laying all over the counter. So I thought, well, let me test it out with a beautiful little thrifted napkin that I have, and why not add some greenery? Because everything looks better with greenery, you guys, and I think it turns out so cute. So when I have a dish towel that I'm using throughout the day, but I don't want it just laying all over my counter I can kind of toss it up in this basket let it hang over the edge and it will still look cute Okay, so this project was probably the easiest. It is this thrifted candle holder little base here. And I know it was used for a candle because I had to clean a ton of wax out of all of those little grooves. But I'm just not loving how this piece is looking. It's looking a little too rough for me. So I decided to give it a coat of that same spray paint. Yes, the same spray paint. Y'all, I have a lot of kitchen countertops. So I'm going to use this piece on another kitchen counter on my island to kind of bring that green over to another area. And then I'm going to show you how I put this piece together in a beautiful little vignette for my bar.
Okay, so now we are going to put a little vignette together to go on my bar. Anytime I put decor on my bar, I normally always have a base for it, like this cutting board, so that I can lift it up and move it very easy because we do put a lot of our food, like when we're eating a meal, to serve it, I will place it all on the bar and I need this to be out of my way when I do that. I've got this greenery here from Hobby Lobby and to hide the little end part that I cut, I'm just tucking it into this doily that was gifted by a subscriber and now I'm going to add this beautiful little candle holder that I just upcycled. I just want to turn it so that these two legs face the front since this is going to be the front of my vignette and then I'm going to place these beautiful false craft dishes that I got at Salvation Army. Now the little bird is about the only thing on this vignette that is not thrifted and it came from Hobby Lobby. I have a thrifted little candlestick here that I'm going to add and this piece of ironstone that I got at Goodwill probably last fall. I don't remember but I love this piece and the green color in it is just perfect. And the last thing that I'm going to add is this Wexford salt and pepper shaker that a subscriber sent me and I absolutely love. You can see here how easy it is for me to pick up this whole arrangement and just move it out of my way. This is a good tip for you guys. And then I just come put it on my bar and anytime I need to move it, all I have to do is pick up the cutting board and move it out of the way. Okay, you guys, the last piece that we are going to work on today is this beautiful urn. I think that's what you call it. I'm going to use it to plant a real live house plant in it, but I am having a hard time finding house plants, you guys. I don't know if I'm just shopping too early or what, but I absolutely love this piece. I love the shape and everything of it, but I was just not loving the color. I tried to use this in my decor, but I just do not love the red tones it has. I paid $4.99 for it at Goodwill, and all I'm going to do is give this a good coat of Rust-Oleum Flat Black paint. I'm wanting to put this in our guest bathroom, so I am looking for a plant that does not require sunlight. If you know the name of a plant that I can put in this, and I'll put rocks in the bottom of this for drainage, you guys, so don't worry about that, but I need a plant that does not require sunlight. Does that even exist? Anyway, all I'm going to do is give this a good coat of black spray paint, and then I'm going to show you how I have it styled for now, but I can guarantee you that this is not where it will stay. Okay, so this is just how I have it styled for now. I did put a little faux plant in it just to give you an idea of what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to move this to my bathroom and have a plant that will kind of grow off the side like this, but I absolutely love it. So much more painted black. The other just had too many red tones in it, and that was not my thing. Anyway, you guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for stopping by and seeing all of my thrift flips and how I decorated these items. Remember that it does not take a lot to make something beautiful for your home. We love y'all, and we will see you really soon in a brand new video.